I mentioned in the first video that I want to make his eyes and his mouth uh, light up like a jack-o'-lantern. And I think doing that will completely change the look of the piece. So let's do that next. And let's start with his eyes. So I'm just going to make a path around his eyes. And this one. And I'm going to select those. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste them just so I have his eyes on a separate layer. And let's make that into a new group and call it glowing. So let's play around a little bit and see what we can do to make those eyes have a great creepy glow to them. So maybe start off with like a color overlay of like an orange color. Let's start off with overlay. Let's see. Let's do that and let's make a layer adjustment. And let's really brighten those eyes up. All right. So let's go back into our layer styles and put on an outer glow. Turn that all the way up. Maybe lighten. Just gotta play around a little bit to get the look we want. Let's go back into our adjustment and let's take out those blacks a little bit. And let's make a new layer and maybe put it on overlay. And let's paint in with some orange color. I think that'll really bring it to life. Yeah, that's going to look good. And let's make another layer. And let's paint with a lighter orange, more of a yellowy orange. Let's go right over the eyes. And there too. Wow, that's really bright. And let's see. Color dodge is nice. Or linear dodge. Let's stick with color dodge. Oh yeah. He already looks so much more sinister now, so... It's gonna look good. And let's try making another layer. And I'm gonna just paint with a small brush. Maybe just some... Reflected light around his eye socket. Just following the curves of his uh, his wrinkles. And let's put that on, let's see, overlay, soft light. Let's try overlay, but maybe adjust that color a little bit. I want it a little more orange and erase just to feather those edges a little bit. All right, I think his eyes look great. Nice and creepy. I may want to bring back his pupils a little more so his eyes just aren't so bright white, but uh, for now, I'll just leave it like it is. So, you know what, let's, uh, let's make his nose glowing too. Because he's a jack-o'-lantern, so a uh, jack-o'-lantern's nose is going to light up as well. So let's uh, do the same for his nostrils, or his nostril singular. And now let's clip out his one nostril. Let's copy that, and I'll paste that. And let's copy that adjustment layer from the eyes. And let's copy that layer style as well. And I don't want that hard edge there, so I'm going to mask that off so we get a little more of a fade. Turn that up a little bit. 
yeah, that's more what I'm looking for. And like we did with the eyes, I'm just gonna paint in some some bright orange overlays to really make that glowing pop. So put that on overlay. And same over here. And the flesh of your nose uh, isn't too thick, so if your nose was lit up like a jack-o'-lantern, you would see a lot of light in your entire nose. So let's, let's sort of make his entire nose glow a little more. So his entire nose would probably be glowing like that if it was in fact lit up. Don't want it too red. I don't want to make him Rudolph. All right, so let's move on to his mouth. And so I'm just going to Clip out his mouth. And I'm gonna copy that. And before I do that, I have to make sure his bad teeth are on top of the glowing layer. And again, we'll paste layer style. And we'll duplicate that levels adjustment. And we'll clip it to the mouth. Now this is gonna be a little bit different and probably a little more difficult because we have these teeth in here, so we're going to have to go at it a little bit of a different way. So let's try masking out where his teeth are. Okay. And let's do that down here too. You know, I think we're going to have to handle his mouth a little bit differently because the way we did these teeth. So let's close that off for now. And let's go back to our mouth path. Let's put a layer on overlay. I'm just kind of experimenting now what's the best way to make the mouth look like it's glowing. So, so let's paint inside there. And let's make another layer in there. A linear dodge. Let's put a nice hot spot right there at sort of the back of his mouth. Like the flames are coming from his throat. And let's make a layer on top of our bad teeth layer. And put it on overlay. And let's just paint in around that. Let's try going to our bad teeth layer and maybe doing an inner glow on those. And I think I'm going to darken up his bad teeth a little more just so they pop against the, uh, the bright inside of his mouth. So I'm going to go into my levels adjustment. And I'm just going to darken them up. And same for the top layer. All right, so let's take like a, uh, a reddish color and let's paint in some, turn that down a little bit actually, and paint in some reflected light on these bumps. Cause you're gonna have some light hitting these little, these little grotesque nobules or whatever they're called. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Looking pretty creepy and pretty evil. And let's do one more thing to really accentuate the fiery glowing coming out of his eyes and mouth. I have some uh, yellowy orange smoke images and let's use some of these so 
There's a little bit of smoke coming out of his eyes and mouth as well. And we're going to put that on the screen and we're going to turn up our levels. And let's mask that off. Let's try the other picture and see what kind of result that gives us. You know, these smoke images, they're not working out as good as I had hoped. So let's try something different. Instead of smoke, let's just try adding some fire coming out of his eyes and mouth. And let's see how that looks. So let's take some... Maybe this right here. And let's paste that in. Uh, put that on screen. And maybe this will give us the look we want. That's not bad, that's pretty nice. Let's adjust the color a little bit maybe though. Yeah, so let's do, uh, let's do something like that. Instead of smoke, let's try having a little bit of fire coming out of his eyes and mouth. I think that might work for us a little better. And let's grab that right about there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Maybe coming out of his mouth. I think that's pretty cool. Let's see. Does that add to it or is it too much? Let's leave it on there for now. I might take that off or I might adjust it, but let's leave the little flames on for now. And let's just try doing one on the mouth too, just to see how it looks. So let's grab, you know what, let's grab this one here. This one looks like a good one. I have a feeling about that one. And put that on screen. You know what, maybe let's uh... Let's just put that inside of his mouth. And we'll just mask that off. Yeah, I kind of like that just inside the mouth. Because the mouth seemed a little too... It seemed kind of boring here almost, like it was too flat, but... I think putting a little bit of flame in there kind of helps it out. 